was amazing, partly because I'd never been out of the country before, and um, being able to work through all the different projects we worked through, being able to come together collaboratively and build everything together, I think um, this was a really great group of people, and we all got really close and <laughs> got to know each other, and, and it was just a really amazing time, and um, being able to go out and do everything was just really cool. Cuts, it was seven hours, <laughs> um, but everything was great. All the experiences were new and exciting. Um, I'm a huge burger, so as Don said, it's like Disneyland, but for birds. <laughs> so I was just going crazy, waking up at 5 a.m. like every day just to go and see everything I could. Um, getting to know all the Costa Rican students, all the other professors, and like the work that they do, and how we're working all the interpreters, like their, their ecosystem, everything, and all the conservation stuff that they do was really cool, and it was kind of nice to see that. Even though we're in different parts of the world, it's like similar like missions as far as like protecting the planet. Um, but yeah, it's something that once I got back, it was kind of depressing getting back into the routine. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe one day I'll go back for vacation. All right, I'll go. I really appreciate the trip. It was a really unique experience. I think a lot of us had different takeaways from it which is kind of to be expected from any trip you go on. I found it really amazing when we went to that Freebie Village. It was like literally a once in a lifetime opportunity. I traveled all over the world, but that was literally one of the best experiences of my life. They were very, very interesting people and they had very interesting things in life. And the whole experience of getting there was difficult in a way, but fun. And everything that they shared with us was very, it was very real, it felt very good, and I really enjoyed it. And I thank Don and Allison for taking us, because that was literally one of the best experiences of my life. I'll never forget it. Creepy Village. they weren't fully sure of what we were going to be doing or what to expect and it was a really unique experience to kind of fall in love with ESRM through their eyes like once again so thanks guys for coming with us and for to Miguel and Chelsea for translating you guys <laughs> we would have been lost without you <laughs> so thank you <laughs> and the first time I nicked the stomach, which was like the most important part of it. <laughs> so I didn't want to do it again, but then they like asked me to do it again. Like it went past, so that was super cool. It was a good way to 
kids know the inner students and like their experience and some have to travel far to get to university so it was just cool to like just hear their experiences and it was a privilege being able to spend like two days with the BB community because I don't know it was just really cool and to see their perspective on <laughs> so, I'm an early childhood studies major, I'm healthy by the way, and um, there's just like four or five of us in the class that had no idea what was going on the entire, <laughs> the entire first half of the class. We're kind of just like, okay, so that's cool. Um, <laughs> but once we got there, it was a completely like just so surreal. Like, I finally understood everything that was being talked about in class, everything all made sense, and it was just a completely different experience than what I've been here throughout my entire time at CI I'm graduating this semester. So it was really neat to actually step in and like look at something else and see the way ESRM and bio people see life, which is like really, really awesome. I can never like experience anything like that again. And I found a great appreciation for everything you all do. Um, it's, it's amazing and you know, I commend you all for like all the hard work that you're constantly putting into your class classwork and all the extra field work that I know you all do. So thank you for letting us experience this with you guys. And I can't wait to see what more comes next from you all in this department. <laughs> My favorite part of the trip was definitely seeing the uh, rainforest, just because like growing up in San Diego, I got very used to like a chaparral environment and then going out into the desert sometimes. So then like seeing a, like a cloud forest was honestly like just like awe inspiring. Like, most of my pictures are from like when the cloud forest started rolling in on like 430 and you can just like get really awesome shots of like the clouds like right in front of the sun, which just kind of makes everything a like, yellow haze and it's just like really great sight to see. So that's one of my biggest takeaways though, is like what everyone is kind of saying, like the Bree Bree Village was by far one of the coolest things I've ever experienced in my life and probably will experience. Like hearing like about their culture was really cool. Like uh, the man that was talking to us like said he could talk for like through the night and then into the next day and like possibly further because he just had so much knowledge. And uh, it was just a really great treat. And again, like I'll jump on what everyone said and thank you guys for taking us. You were really good guys. And, Thank you to um, um, they, uh, yeah, because like she was awesome too. You guys picked a really good person to guide us around Costa Rica. testimonials from all of you guys. I think, well, you know, this university was founded with the idea of, of uh, integrating international perspectives, and that's how I see this trip in terms of changing world views. Uh, a wise person once said that when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And I, and I see that through their eyes with respect to indigenous culture and being respectful of different ways of seeing and knowing, and that was a really cool element that we added this year that we had never done before, but you know, we paid a price for that, right, a seven hour bus ride <laughs> to the Caribbean side of the country, but it was well worth it. So it was fun for me too, it was like, I, I got to see stuff for the first time, and, uh, and, and enjoying watching you guys see stuff for the first time. Um, so what I like about you know these types of courses more than anything is that it sort of forces you out of your comfort zone and many of you guys you know experienced that whether it was you know um, staying up late at night doing the 
push to sections, and then also waking up early in the morning for birding, um, all the bugs, you know, all of that kind of stuff, right? It's kind of forcing you out of that comfort zone. And that's a really critical place to be with your education. Like, that's how, well, education and other things, but academically, that's like how you grow, right? Just by, that's how you get sort of pushed forward. You don't want to do things and then you force yourself. So thank you guys for taking that leap of faith, right, when you got on that plane. And I'm sure whether you know it or not now, you came back a changed person. So, so keep it up.